thinking my lawn is not looking that fresh right now. That's why Frank Ferragini is here. I, love <laughs> I know. It's yeah. the time of year where we're looking around and, and the yard just looks looks awful. So we need help figuring out how we're going to make the lawn look what, like this turf. Like this artificial it looks so turf. Good. Yeah. So let's sit down. Let's sit down. Let's okay. have a little let's, little let's talk. Let's have a little okay, talk. Okay. A little about talk about your lawn. On. So first thing is. Your lawn, of course, you want to make it nice and green. Do you yeah. know what thatch is? No, what's thatch? Okay, so I just brought some thatch with me. Okay. Got a bag of grass <laughs> in my back pocket. Amazing, yeah. Um, so thatch, thatch is what, I just raked this out of my lawn yesterday. Okay. So thatch is what's going to be right between the blade of your grass and right by, by the ground. Okay. So if it's around a half an inch, it's going to be fine. You can pull a core right out of the ground. The reason why thatch is good is it maintains moisture, keeps roots cool, but if it gets built up too much, all of a sudden it doesn't allow grain to come through or yeah. nutrients to go through. So you should dethatch your lawn if you're starting to get a big caking of almost this brown down at the base of your, of your grass. Yeah. So you can be doing that in early spring as soon as the ground is firm. Okay. A lot of people go and they say, okay, you know, I want to go walk out on that lawn and do all this work. But if it's kind of soppy underfoot, you're going to create compaction, yeah. especially if you have kids. So if you have a lot of kids that run around, you're going to have a compacted space. So first, let's just talk about kind of the rakes that we're going to use. This is a okay. dethatching rake that's over here. That's my old one, which is called the Thatch Master. Oh, is it? Okay. It's the um, Thatch Master. There's a lot of belief, though, for areas like where we live in Canada, yeah. that thatching alone should be done in the fall. So you can do it in the spring, but a lot of research right now is saying, Dethatching your lawn in the fall is the best. You can get a power tool. And so this is all you're doing to. This, all you're going to be doing is raking. Dethatch. You can see that the the uh, that rake has a little bit tighter. Yeah. Uh, and with that, it's just going to take all that brown out. You're just going to dethatch. It's a big workout. It's a huge workout. It is okay. So that's about allowing moisture and nutrient to go down into the soil. The Got other thing it. is compaction that we talked about. Yes. So what you can do is you in the spring you can aerate. Um, this is a this is a tool that you can do for a smaller property. Mm -hmm. My property, I have about a half an acre of lawn. Don't use that. This would That's take me for friggin' no, ever. No. Yeah. You're gonna be doing it forever. Best thing to do is to go out and rent a, an aerator. Yeah. Uh, and I will really. It's not gonna take you a long time once you rent one. They're they're an aggressive machine. I'll tell you that. Yeah. I usually split it with three neighbors. Oh, so smart. So we one neighbor has the pickup. He goes yep. and grabs it for us. We go to wherever we're gonna do the rental shop. We drop it off, we do all three lawns, we bring it back, we split the class three ways. How long does that take usually to do your whole lawn? To do my whole lawn, honestly, about uh, maybe an hour. Okay. About an hour. All right, that's fair. Um, so let's talk a little bit about grass seed. Yes. Grass seed, a lot of times people in early spring are like, well, I got all these bare patches, I have all these things, I'm going to put seed down right away. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, have you ever heard about the bare bum test? No. Okay, and belief before with old gardeners was pull your pants off, sit on the lawn. <laughs> if it's warm enough for your bum, it's warm, warm enough to seed. Really? Okay. Did you make that up? No, that's in a lot of old garden books. <laughs> so I'm not, if you do that, you may go to jail or maybe. <laughs> but I will say to you that your soil temperature needs to be about 20 degrees. Okay. So if you got a 20 degree soil temperature, that's, that's pretty warm. That's when you want to put grass seed down. So think more about. Mid May, so more mid spring yeah. to late spring is when you want to put grass seed down. Got it. Key is with grass seed is you want to get the right formulation. Yes. This is a brand new product which is called Lawn uh, Response 911. Uh -huh. It has actually some soil in there, some fertilizer, grass seed, and that's just to thicken your lawn. You can pull this out. This is a great little thing. Uh, you're just going to set your dial. So what you really want to do is make sure you're reading the directions. Set your dial. You yeah. walk across, and you're just going to do what's called an overseeding. Okay? So is this? I'll, I'll just pull. Just pull, press this. Pull, and you can use this on. So you just pull. Pull. Oh, right here? The trigger. It's called the trigger. Oh! There you go. Here, okay. You can, and you want me to make it look really cool? Right to yeah. Al. Watch, watch. Ah. Cool! <laughs> That's actually a good little machine. Yeah, so that can be used for fertilizers and things like that. Okay. So grass seed more mid-spring. What yeah. do we do right now at this time of the year? The one thing you want to be doing early spring is what's be called a, a really what's a weed preventer. Mm -hmm. So this is works as what's called a post-emergent. Do you know what that means? No. It's just a way to make me sound really smart yeah, and that I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, what it is is it's corn gluten. So what corn gluten is is the byproduct of when they make ethanol with corn. Yeah. Uh, and with this, when you put it across your lawn, it coats weed seeds. Okay. And by coating the weed seeds, it doesn't let, let seeds of dandelion or crabgrass germinate. It's so you, natural. And yeah, it's this natural. Is a natural. You got to put on early spring when everything's dormant. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you can't overseed your lawn at the same time. 
So do that first. Do this first. Do you need to take off your pants for that one? No, nope, no. Nope. You can be fully clothed for this okay. one. Okay, all right. Okay, there is a downfall to this. Yeah. The downfall, because it's made from corn, usually squirrels and birds go and they eat like it. They like to eat it. So the key is to put it down. It's safe. It's totally safe. Yeah. Put it down just before it rains so it can break down a little bit before the squirrels will go and eat it. Got Don't it. Don't ever leave this in your garage left alone. They'll eat it. They'll eat it. Yeah. They'll eat it. They'll eat it. The other thing, once you're done your fertilizing of that, of the corn gluten, later on in spring, what you're going to do is want to put a really nice, big uh, nitrogen number. So a high first number. Yeah. This is called the Turf Max. That's going to green up, green up and thicken. But the aeration is really important because mm -hmm. if you had compacted soil and you're doing all this work, all that moisture, all that new just runs off. So make sure that you dethatch, make pay attention to your thatch, yeah. make sure your ground has the ability to absorb moisture. Right. And then everything else will work out quite good. It's it's really work. I well, mean, you know, that's what you're saying. So when you see somebody with that beautiful green lawn, they have put work into that. Yeah, gardening is a physical outdoor leisure activity. Yes. Uh, you burn calories. Yes. Your lawn as well provides you oxygen, creates yes. a cooling effect. So when you're going out there in your work, yeah. you're going to be you're going to look nice. Yeah. You're going to have like, this is the best way to lose weight. Totally. Yeah, I'm almost going to do like so a whole workout. you get out there, you do what you need to do, you take your pants off, you test Totally, and you, can, and you can even... I'm so stuck on that. And if Sorry. you want, you can actually lunge, <laughs> rake. Yeah, lunge, lunge rake. rake. Yes. So you can burn calories. Right, and then you're going to have a fantastic lawn. So not only is it a lawn boot camp, now your booty is looking boot camp-ish. <laughs> booty boot camp. Booty. <laughs>